But being a mom, it's crazy hard. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. As you see from the title, we ain't talking about Facebook Reels today. We're talking about self-care as a mom. In case you're wondering, why a video about self-care as a mom? Like, why? Why does that matter? If you don't know, I have two children. Two. And I don't understand how people can have more than that because it is a struggle bus. Before I jump into a few tips, I want to thank you if you're a return subscriber. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, but you've been watching videos, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and join the tribe because we want you over here, okay? Other than that, let's get into a few tips to help you as a mom or a husband, right, for your wife, into how you can practice self-care as a mom. Being a mom is crazy hard. As women, it is incredibly difficult to be present in the now, not only for our children, but more importantly for ourselves. We have to be all and be on at all times. And we're expected to be ready, available. But what about us? What about our needs? We need self-care. And this is what it looks like. The very first thing to do is to sit down and have a candid conversation with your family. Include your kids if they are of age. And let them know why you are taking back time for you. It's important to understand what you need so that they can support you in this journey. The next thing is to establish boundaries. They need to know that you mean business. And when you are working, if you are having your private time, they cannot interrupt. Next, do something nice for you. Something you like, whether that's a nice warm shower or facial or exfoliation, but something to pamper yourself because you deserve it. And do not listen to that mom guilt that says you don't. The next time you're out shopping, buy yourself something nice. We do everything for everyone except us. So that blouse you've been looking at, okay, that purse, that makeup, go ahead and buy for you. Lastly, be intentional about creating time throughout the day to spend with yourself, whether that's when the kids are at school or taking a nap or with their grandparents. Spend time with you so you can gather your thoughts because you need to. Ultimately, self-care as a mom is not a selfish act. To be the best that we can be for those that we love we have to be the best that we can be for ourselves. And so if that means you have to go out an extra mile to create time for yourself in the day, if that means you have to go and buy yourself something nice, if that means you just have to take a moment and breathe, doing so will help you be the better mother you aspire to be. 